Perry folks, this is the last of our red beet. This has been harvested from uh, about the early to the late September and in the next seven to eight months it sat in our basement and buckets such as those filled with moist straw but not too moist in order to not uh, rot from the surface inside and we usually are able to store it uh, for a whole year you can see that it's still very firm and usable but this year uh, we'll, we are left with without any red beet seed because our seed stock which we have from pre previous years got moldy it was uh, our mistake and uh, now we need to produce more seeds for beets for growing this year we bought some new seeds but as we want to continue our land raised beet uh, variety which started from both seeds some years ago, many years ago but now we have no more seeds for it we have to plant the overwinter beet heads and allow them to grow and flower in this season and harvest the seeds in uh, late summer and then use those for planting next year so beet is uh, flowering on the second year and if you don't harvest the heads you can have them flower right on the spot but sometimes in previous years when we tried that uh, strategy there was uh, the problem that uh, some of the heads got eaten uh, basically there was nothing left out of them uh, besides of the outer shell from by slugs and other uh, ground dwelling uh, inhabitants and the other problem was that with very cold winters for example the minus 18 which we had a few years ago it turns the whole head into mush so they are not able to germinate and grow and go to seed next year so we are storing the beet in the basement anyway no problem to just select two of the nice looking a healthy and well storing head to use for seed for this year so it's very easy to do that i pre-dug this hole uh, took out some wild straw strawberries out of here and some uh, spearmint which grows in this bed i'm just sticking the whole head slightly below soil level, soil level leaving just the top few leaves which started developing with the longer days and the rising temperatures no need to leave them too much space they're not space hungry plants and they have no problems overlapping their leaves you can see that those are growing to the side that's because the head was lying on the side and they're growing upwards but they'll be they straighten up in a couple of days and after that to save them from the shock of the uh, strong sun and the UV white I'll just mulch them lightly and leave them to grow in uh, a month there will be a leaf rosette here and a flowering stalk will emerge and then in another month it will flower and I'll show you that in a separate video right beside it you can see we have lots of uh, volunteer spearmint and those are the horseradish cuttings which I'm trying to propagate from horseradish tops so we'll see how that goes in another video see you in the next one folks